So let's not waste any time. Please welcome your host, Rigel. Hello, it is Rigel, your host for today for fun, unique creative individuals club, Fuji. Yes, you're watching this. Man, I want to go straight to the point because this is important. Our mission statement. And I'm not gonna say it this time. Because I'm gonna bring someone else to say it this time. My sister. Yes, I have a sibling, and she's part of the show as well. So let's give it up for Isabel. Yes. I want to give you the opportunity to share what the mission statement is. We have a great lineup. As you guys will know, we have an artist. We have someone spreading great awareness about something, which we also do, spread awareness. And that's also hinting at the mission statement. And what is the mission statement? The mission statement for Club Fuji. Girl, I can't hear you, you gotta speak a lot. Is to encourage diversity, mm. self-awareness, question mark? Self-esteem. Self-esteem mm -hmm. to, you know, like, and social awareness. And social awareness, yeah. I just, mm. sometimes. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Um, so yeah, encourage diversity. Okay. Self-esteem. Okay. Social awareness. Social awareness. Through the arts of entertainment. And entertainment they will be today. today. So let's get the show on the road. First, we have our first interview with Karen Stacy. Let's give Karen Stacy one big round of applause. <laughs> Take a seat, take a seat, join us on this little mood. Wow, it's great in here. <laughs> yeah, I know, sometimes I kind of guess my glasses and I'm kind of like, Ooh. <laughs> All right, so Karen Stacy, could you tell the audience, tell us know more about Liver Society? Well, the Happy Liver Society was started at a hot dog sale at Save On Foods. Wow. Yeah, um, I found out that there was no housing for liver transplant patients and I felt that it was imperative that we do something about that. Mm -hmm. So I started the Happy Liver Society. I received monies from the government for from the tainted blood scandal okay. and bought a one bedroom condo right by uh, VGH. And now people can stay there while they come from out of town for a period of up to three months. We're not gonna kick them out after three mm -hmm. months. but. Um, that's what it's intended for, and we're hopefully going to be getting a secondary Stacy house mm -hmm. in January, which would be for people who, you know, only needed to say mm -hmm. stay for a couple of weeks or six weeks or less than four months. Anyway. Mm -hmm. So you said you have a Stacy house, and I saw on your website. Um, I read a little bit about it, but for the people at home, how can people be a part of the Stacy house? You can contact me directly through our website. Um, there's an email attached to it, so you can contact me. It's karen at happyliversociety.org. Mm -hmm. Or you can uh, call the office at 732-7117 and just say you want to talk to me and they'll patch you through. And Or you can go out and have a hot dog sale and, and decide you want to help us out with our Christmas hamper drive this year, because that's a big deal. Mm -hmm. We're trying to uh, have 50 Christmas hampers. To a shout out to UFCW 1518 for giving us 100 boxes. <laughs> wow, let's yeah. get that one round of applause for that. That's a big deal. Yeah. And Save On Foods at 7th and Candy is going to be helping us with these Christmas hampers this year. So hopefully we'll be able to help a lot more people. Also, um, we're having a giant concert at, uh, at what used to be called the Red Robinson Theatre, then it was called the Hard Rock Theatre, and now it's called uh -huh. the Molson's Canadian Theatre. Wow. So, the Molson's Canadian Theatre will be uh, 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 headlining Faber Drive. Carrie Badgley will be opening it with his wow. brand new album, mm. so that's exciting. We've got Rod Black and many other people coming up. It's country rock. It's it's fun. So bring your dancing boots, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, last question: um, What has inspired you um, to make and move this, uh, create this movement for for um, for this community? I know that it's just as hard as um, kidney disease, where it's not as um, no, well known as cancer is. 
but how, how, how does this affect you and, and what would you say to, to other people about this? When I first found out I had liver disease, I thought it was a disease that only drug addicts or alcoholics could get. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I was blindsided. I had no clue that because I had had a blood transfusion when I was younger that I was already a carrier of the hepatitis C virus and mm -hmm. that I was dying. Wow. And that it ended up taking a life-saving liver transplant or I still wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. I didn't do anything wrong. And many people have not done a darn thing. You're born with liver disease. And still, you, uh, people, I don't know why, I think I was one of those people before I got sick, mm. that thought people who had liver disease deserved to get liver disease, but they most certainly do not. Yeah, of course. Um, no matter what your, your problem is, whether your immune system attacks your own liver, mm -hmm. or whether um, you drank yourself into that situation, uh, it, that's a disease in itself. Yeah. The stipulation is if you have had a drink within six months, you are not going to be able to get a transplant. Mm -hmm. If you're an active drug abuser, you are not going to. Mm -hmm. If you drank a lot in your 20s and now you're 45 and you need a liver transplant, they're not going to deny you. Mm -hmm. If you played around with drugs like a weekend warrior in your teens or your early 20s, they're not going to deny you. Things happen when you're young. You make mm -hmm. bad choices, but you shouldn't have to die because of them. For sure. Well, thank you very much. Now let's bring up briefly Carrie Badgley. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So we had a conversation a while ago that um, the Liver Society is having a, a gala, uh, a banquet, and and um, would you like to share with everyone um, what you have with us today and what you're performing there? Yeah, so my name is Kerry Badgley. I am a uh, recording artist from Vancouver, and I just put out my uh, most recent studio album back in September called The Infinity Machine. And um, I'm very happy to have been invited by Karen to partake in this event opening for a band that I loved growing up, uh, Favorite Drive. Mm -hmm. And um, how did you get in contact with Karen? Karen uh, and I have actually been working together quite a bit uh, the last um, five, ten years. Um, I actually am a close friend of uh, Frank Soda, another recording artist who uh, is actually going to be playing guitar with me that night. Wow. And um, Frank and Karen have been doing a lot of work together for years, so that's kind of how we met. Mm -hmm. And um, do you have any other questions for Gary? Or? So Karen showed, told us that she has a website. Do you have any places we can find you and your music? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I have a website as well. It's uh, www.badgleymusic.com that's B-A-D-G-L-E-Y music.com and I can also be found on Facebook, Instagram, all those social media outlets. And now thank you guys again once for our interview. It's been amazing. It's um, I'm glad to learn more about your, your company and to more lo learn more about your music. I can't wait to hear more. And next up, we're going to keep on moving because we got to stay funny and creative individuals. We're going to turn on to the next interview. Stay tuned. technical graphic arts I did uh, for t-shirt uh, silkscreen design. Uh, what happened when the computer came in and then uh, 
the old dinosaur here in town. We got a little stressed out with the computer, so uh, I went back to hands-on, getting my hands dirty with paint. Old school? Yeah. And old school painting. Right on. And got back into that. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah, it was just good. So can you tell us like a little bit about your paintings? Like Sure, yeah. I, I, pop culture uh, uh, portraits is, is what it really is. Um, oh. Uh, pop culture meaning anyone who's been in, uh, you like uh, John Lennon, the uh, Beatles, uh, Jimi Hendrix, um, you know anyone in, in the, uh, the, the the popular culture. So it's uh, that's what's I do sports guys too. I've done work for Gretzky and, and Messi oh, cool. and those guys too. So yeah, it's it's been uh, it's been fun. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, you also do pets too, don't you? Yeah, just recently I started, started doing pets, which has been really cool. Really cool. Yeah, yeah, and I actually awesome. teach a teacher how to paint pets as well. So. Do you say you say you teach? You got a class? Teaching, yeah, yeah. I, I teach out of a studio at Crescent Beach in South Surrey, um, and uh, I, I do uh, semi-private lessons with people who want to paint their own pets. Okay. Oh, that's so, so cute. Yeah, yeah. So if you, <laughs> if, you, if you have a friend, you can bring a friend and, and paint your own pets, and we we'll do a, cool. a like eight-hour class. Like hang up in your room yeah, or something it's, like it's that. Yeah, it's great for Christmas gifts. I'm that. sorry, uh, Gigi, but I kind of I'm like a little psychic. I can okay. read his mind. He feels like he wants to do a portrait of the bronze bonds. I, I'm honored. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't want yeah, to put no, some no, impression no. there. Yeah. I have a monitor. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, have you have you met any of these artists that you've done? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. So oh. I'm very very lucky with uh, you know living in Vancouver. It's, it's, it's such a movie town. Yeah. Um, uh, so I've, I've, I've connected with the, with Hard Rock. I connected with River Rock Casinos. Wow. Um, all the big acts that come into town. Like, I get to uh, get to meet them and uh, paint them. So it's pretty cool. cool. Yeah, it's very cool. So it's like they're right there while you're painting them. No, no, oh. no, no, no. That take oh. too long. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah I usually, I usually for photo reference, yeah. and, uh, okay. and then when the, when the big guys come down, I get to go and hang out with them, go to the show, wow. and then kind of, you know. Fancy you. Yeah, I've seen some that. pictures like Jay Leno, Robin Williams. Jay, uh, Robin Williams, yeah. yeah. Uh, Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, Wayne Gretzky. That's uh, really cool. Yeah, really Glenn cool. Sather, uh, Pat Quinn, you know, yeah. the, you know yeah, rest of yeah. these. But uh, uh, yeah, some, some you know, lots of hockey guys. Um, Lots of music guys, buddy guys, all okay. like, yeah, yeah. favorites, yeah, the Johnny Lang and uh, you know, some blues guys, which is really cool. Yeah. Your work is all acrylic? All acrylic on canvas, okay. yeah. All yeah, right. yeah, all, all, ha all hand painted brush, no And all sizes, you make all sizes. Yeah, I like to paint really large. I find painting bigger is easier than painting smaller, but mm -hmm. um, it's, it's just it's a lot more forgiving. But, uh, it's I good. should have been a large image, so I'm just uh, <laughs> <laughs> Now, um, let me check my notes really quickly because I wanted to touch on something else. What was the something about Gord Downing? Yeah, so you know, uh, as everyone knows, um, you know, being from Canada, they're tragically hit, a huge band. Mm -hmm out here. Um, uh, I'd seen him in concert four or five times and, and, and I was a big fan and you know when I heard it, he, had, he was diagnosed with the uh, with the uh, brain cancer mm -hmm. and, uh, and I knew they were going to do the final tour. I just wanted to do something special just to kind of say, say thanks to, to the band. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we, we uh, did a, a big portrait. We went through uh, In Court We Trust and uh, okay. sold raffle tickets right across Canada, five bucks a pop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we raised quite a considerable amount of money for uh, the, the foundation. Lady in Kelowna won it, which was very nice. Wow. So, yeah, nice. Won it, yeah. That's really so, good. Very cool. Very yeah. Good yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I know you've seen Michael Jackson in 1988 in Tokyo. Did you do any portrait of him? No, uh, I, I painted him a few times for good commission pieces for people. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's okay. very, very popular guy. Uh, the, the people I paint most is probably uh, Tiger Woods. Oh, okay. I've done a lot of sports, sports ones for, for people, um, uh, guys who have rec rooms, sports rooms. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. Tiger Woods are very popular, you know, oh. even though he's not playing some of these days. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was like, oh, but, okay. uh, Yeah, uh, Michael Jordan's, uh, you know, um, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, lots of uh, John Lennon's and Beatles and stuff mm -hmm. like that, classic stuff, you know, yeah. very classic stuff. That's pretty cool. So, um, did you have anywhere, like, people can reach you if you maybe want to paint Yeah, absolutely, yeah. My, my, uh, my name is Dave Benning, D-A-V-B-E-N-N-I-N-G dot com. Um, okay. yeah, you can contact me for anything there. There's, there's, there's uh, links to classes there. Um, I have a YouTube channel where you can see uh, time-lapse portraits, Star Wars paintings and stuff like that that I've done from start to finish so you can see the whole process. Um, I, I do uh, like tutorials on there too, so I've like, got uh, Ken Eastwood some tutorials, so yeah, there's some, awesome. some cool stuff on there, so yeah, it's okay. kind of fun. Well, we'll go bring some work from the stage and see, yeah. check that out. Let's do that. Okay. Alright. Good stuff. So uh, we have two, two paintings here. The, we have a, a 30 by 40 Gene Simmons, uh, which has been signed by Gene Simmons. Uh, I've, I've done a lot of work for Kiss, uh, a lot of work for Gene Simmons uh, and his restaurant in LA, so I've done some personal work for him too. 
Um, and the other one, the Elvis one, is uh, 36 by 48. That's a big one, three feet by four feet. And just a close-up detail of, uh, of uh, a really nice, young, dreamy, young 1957 Elvis when he was like really good looking and uh, very, very, uh, very handsome and, and full of energy. Um, I, I did do a, a, a later Elvis, but my wife didn't like it, so I had to change it back to the dreamy Elvis. But uh, yeah, that gives you an idea of my work. Uh, so, some of it's semi-photographic. Um, uh, some of my work is very detailed, but a lot of my new work is uh, as well. Uh, we have the Seth Rogen is uh, 30 by 30, which is uh, what I did for, for, an, for an example painting uh, at, uh, at an art show. So did that about two afternoons of, of, of a session, and it was just a random picture of Seth that, that, I, that I had. Um, he seen it, he liked it, and uh, his wife really liked it too. She, she tweeted about it, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, the Jimi Hendrix one is, uh, um, I'm a huge Hendrix fan, um, so this one's a very detailed painting that took quite a few hours with the strap and the beads and the, the details, but uh, the payoff for it after about 30, 40 hours is, is, is pretty rewarding. So um, yeah, Woodstock 1967, that was uh, one of my favorite uh, Hendrix eras. It starts on November 25th to January 7th. Also following very soon will be the Festival of Lights at Van Dusen Garden, uh, starting on December 1st all the way to the end of December on the 31st. Uh, the Vancouver Christmas Market at the Jack Pool Plaza is a great place to shop and get, to, get into festive spirit this December. It opens from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. starting from November 26th to December 30th. And uh, most likely you won't want to miss the Nutcracker, which is starting December 17th all the way to December 22nd. And there is also some sort of ice skating event uh, starting on December 1st all the way to February 28th. Uh, the 13th Annual Rogers Santa Claus Parade, uh, that was a lot, uh, is coming up on December 4th at 12 p.m. and it's located in downtown Vancouver. There's going to have marching bands, festive floats, and choirs. So yeah. And that's all I have really on my list. What about you? Um, I have one more event coming up. It's called Enchant Christmas Light Maze and Market. It's on First Avenue and Crow Street starting from November 25th to December 31st. Yeah, so that concludes our entertainment update, and if you miss out on any of the events we listed, check out our website, it's clubfuji.tv. And no, at the same time, because this is yet another end for a new beginning. And you have been a part of this journey for how many seasons? I don't know, because I lost so much track. I lost all the tracks. I got to look at these hands, these tiny hands, and realize that we're still moving forward. How are we not? But your host for today, Rigel, has been an honor to have hosted another show with you guys, Club Fuji, for unique creative individuals. And I'm not going to say the mission again. Because I'm going to bring all of the crew, including Mr. Bronze Fawns himself, to help me with this journey of introducing and not reintroducing, but saying the mission statement once again. So can I please have the crew, Club Fuji crew, join me on stage, please. Why did we did we have a fun, did we have fun today? We, we did. did. Yes, yes. We had, totally. We had Dave Benning, man. What an amazing mm. artist. We had Karen Stacy mm. and 
Kira. Carrie. 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 See, man, I keep messing it up because they're Jeez. so similar. Carrie. Yes. Badly. Badly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Stacy. Carrie. Badly. There you go. There you go. You Men, go. what's our mission statement? It's to promote social awareness, okay. self-esteem, uh -huh. and and diversity through the arts of entertainment. Okay. And we have a radio show. We sure do, bro. Yes. It's called KSBI. Yes. Or KSBI. Got to see it. It's called the Bronze Fonz and Mark Bell Cartel. Yes, and DJ G <laughs> and the Entertainment Update and Jizia and my co-host interview Isabel. This is your crew club, Yuji. <laughs> and I my, I was gonna say funny and creative individual with you. Okay, okay. I'm quite fine. Ready? Uh, fun. Yuji. Everyone. Creative individual. Thank <laughs> you.